Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about what's called split testing. So split testing, real quickly, is simply a technique or a process, a method in which you can determine two different changes in which change results in the higher desired objective or effect that's being completed by your visitors. So if you have an email submit form, you can split test the button copy that's on the call to action button, or you could test the colors on the page, you can test placement and the positions of certain elements on the page, and see how all of these affect conversion rates and goals. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about this, and uh, hopefully you learn a lot because split testing is absolutely essential if you're trying to maximize the effectiveness of any type of goal that you have on your site. So. Basically, if you're not split testing, then you should be, for sure. All right, so I'm gonna talk about that. Uh, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet. Subscribe here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, so basically, I one site that you can check out, this is an interesting site, witchtest1.com. Uh, this has a test of the week on the home page, and it allows you to see version A and version B based on a previous split testing uh, campaign, I guess you could call it. Uh, so it shows you version A right here, but first it says text links versus icons. Okay, so that's what's being tested. So which homepage increased category clicks by 90% plus for the Belgian Yellow Pages website? So the category pages, if I click on each one of these, this is version A, are right here. Even though they're in a foreign language that I don't understand, this is these are the, the, the different categories, and they're interested in getting people to click on these or testing uh, which will do better. So this is version A. These are just standard text links. And then here's version B with actual uh, images or icons for them. And then they have like more categories down here. So obviously they get, I mean, they give you the option though to choose which one you think won based on the real life test results. So this one's pretty obvious. Uh, these stand out much more. Of course, this is, these are going to increase, increase, are you serious? Increase the click through rate. So uh, obviously it is version B that won. So I already did this. Uh, I'll just do it again. Uh, and it kind of elaborates more on, you know, why they think it won. And, and it shows the, the site visitors, you know, uh, three-fourths got it right. So it was pretty obvious. But some of these aren't so obvious, though, when it comes to split testing. So uh, if I go to this over here, 453 case studies, um, see case studies by listing date. I, I click on this one. And I didn't click the vote, I didn't review the result yet, but here's what they're testing. See product video versus watch product, or watch demo. So which button copy, or the call to action button, which copy on it won 48% more registration form signups? So let me uh, close these ones out. I'll click on this one. And then this is version B, I'll move it over here. So version A, the only difference between these two is see product video or watch demo. So it sounds like, you know, is this really going to make that much of a difference? Uh, just changing a few words on a landing page? Well, 48% more. I mean, that's huge. So if you were to, you know, by default, like a new designer, what they'll do is they'll go with their, inu their intuition uh, about what they think personally will work best. So they may just put, you know, see product video, or they may just put watch demo. And that's it. And they won't split test it. So 100% of all their traffic is going to be filtered through either one of these two pages. Uh, and by default, most people don't split test. So if they chose the losing version of these two, then they're missing out on a sizable chunk of registrations and thus, in the end, money. So there's a huge difference that goes into play when it comes to split testing and determining the right winner and what people ultimately respond to best. And one thing that's kind of humbling, I guess you could say, as a designer is you don't always know 
what works. That's why split testing is so hugely important to do. So I, I, again, I didn't view this result. I don't know what's going to win uh, between these two. I'm not sure which would score 48% more or not. But just going by my gut, I, I would say watch demo just because it's more simple and C product video seems just a little bit more redundant. They say they have C right here. So I could be completely wrong. Uh, so I'll go ahead. This is version A. I'm going to say version B1. Version A, increase. See, I was completely wrong. <laughs> oh, man. See, that's why... Uh, even an experienced designer, you could be completely wrong. And people here, you can, it's really interesting. It's a great site because people can talk. Uh, so, yeah, version B, 70% of people chose the one that I chose. So, but version A, C product video, increased the form fields on the page following the button by 48%. And so with a 98.5 confidence level, that's based on how many people, you know, what, what the sample size was. Uh, so completely wrong I was, along with most other people. So that's why, hey, oh, this is so obvious, you know, that this is maybe just two words. It's more simple. You don't have a redundancy with C right here. Uh, this one will definitely work, and I'm not going to test it. That's why it's, it's very important to ignore that inner feeling that you're going to be right. Uh, let's try another one just for the fun of it. Uh, so check this one out. So this time they're um, testing display banner, av advertising banner. So which display got 71% more clicks? Okay, this is a translation. Uh, all right, so let me close these out. First I'll click on the B... Oh, wait, you can't. All right, these are the sizes. Pretty small sizes, but uh, let's see. Uh, oh, damn it. They make you sign up. Oh, that sucks. Well, anyhow, you get the uh, the gist of this, damn it. And they're not going to let me uh, try to... Uh... Yeah, and they make you pay. That's interesting. Well, I guess there's a lot of uh, value in, in determining or in seeing existing case studies but uh, based on split tests. But anyhow, yeah, I'm not going to join. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty uh, a cool site. I like that. I think there's a couple other, though, that aren't uh, – that don't charge. I, I should have uh, researched this, but oh well. Uh, so how do you split test? We'll talk about that a little bit. Um, there's multiple services – that you know most of them they they offer like a trial but ultimately they do cost money uh with exception to something google analytics provides and so they used to call it google website optimizer but now they call it uh content experiments so if you type in google content experiments it'll give you some information here you basically have to have a google analytics account which is free of course and content experience is uh experiments are also free and it's a part of google analytics so they give you an example here so let's say you have a website you sell house cleaning services basic cleaning deep cleaning detailed cleaning and you want to maximize detail cleaning uh the option to purchase this much more because it's uh, much more profitable. So most users on land, uh, land on your homepage. So this is the page that you want to test. For your experience, you create several new versions of the page. So one with a big red headline, detailed and cleaning. One with uh, in which you expand on the benefits of detailed cleaning. One where you put an icon next to the link, purchase detailed cleaning. So once you've set up your experiment in a random sample of views to see the different pages, including your original homepage, you can simply wait to see which page gets the highest percentage of users detailed. Uh, who purchased detailed cleaning. And so that that's just one of millions of <laughs> different examples of how you can set up a split testing campaign. And the way you do, it's actually real simple. Uh, you'll go through their interface in Google Analytics uh, to set up an experiment. Actually, you know what? Let me log into my account and go to that page just so you guys could see that. All right, so I've logged in here to my Analytics account. And uh, you find this under uh no, behavior and experiments. And this is the page you have. So I haven't added any, of course, but you add them by going to create experiment. And 
you have all these different options, objective for this ex uh, experiment. And so you can set up goals, and I've already had goals set up in the past. Uh, I haven't had any recent ones, but uh, you set up a goals by going to conversion and you click on goals and overview. And these are older goals from the, when the site was older. I haven't set up any. But uh, once you have those set up, you go back to experiment, and you can specify which metric you want or which objective you want to test. So if you're, let's say, okay, let me show you real quick a, let me show you the uh, homepage here. So this right here is a goal. This is call to action button. Get ready for a relaunch in 2014. And you want to test how many people would click notify me. Maybe we could experiment with a different text or a different headline. So Let's say, for example, we wanted to try testing, get ready for a relaunch 2014 versus maybe some copy like, like uh, uh, something stupid like submit your email for uh, updates or something like that. Well, the goal then would be tracking how many people signed up here. And when you set up the goals, it makes it pretty easy to, to, to specify what the goal page is and all that. So. Uh, you name the experiment, select the metric, you know, like one of those goals that you set up. Uh, you can specify the percentage of traffic that goes to the experiment, uh, and then email notification for important changes. Next step, let me just create one real quick. Um, I'm going to leave it as entitled, hit next. And then it shows you the original page that you want to test. So what you would do is create like an index a.php, for example, for this one. And then the variation, which would be whatever you're changing about this page. And usually it should just be one thing that you're changing when it comes to A-B split testing. <clears throat> so it would be the different title or the different button text. So that could be index b.php and you link to it. And then you would hit next step. And then I'm not going to do that because I haven't set these pages up. But basically, setting up your experiment code that they give you code snippets to put onto the original page and the variation page, I believe. And it's very simply just paste this uh, it's a bit of JavaScript into a portion of the page, and then you run the and start the experiment, and that's all it takes. And then after a while, depending on how much traffic you have, uh, you'll start to see results with this. So Google Analytics, they offer a free A-B split testing page, or, or not page, but feature. Uh, there are also paid versions out there, so um, split testing service. So optimizely.com, they're a real popular service. And that's just an interesting uh, landing page to have. So uh, this one, I think I've used them in the past. Um, you'll see the pricing they have here. Uh, 30-day trial and then seventeen dollars. Uh, there's just there's a, a bunch of them. Um, Optimizely. Where is there? Uh, there are a few other one. Usually you find these through uh, the ads that they have. I've never heard of this one. Yeah, I don't like their site. Oh, seriously, seriously. <laughs> These pages that automatically start video and audio. Oh, I hate them. Uh, Visual Website Optimizer is a, also a very popular one. Uh, so yeah, these are all options to chalk to to check out uh, in the future. And so yeah, everyone should be doing split testing. I don't care what type of page you have, uh, if it's a blog or if it's a, a news site uh, or you're selling something. Very important. So what I'm going to do for sure in the future is do a live. Uh, split testing case study and I think I might do that based on what I've been working on recently because uh, design course premium will be launched very soon and I uh, well let me log out there I haven't fixed that page yet uh, index new and so this page over here this top portion is going to be eventually changed to this and I uh, when you click this the uh, a video will load and I may test different things though, um, based on how many people I can get to click to watch the actual video and all that. And so what I'll do is a, a case study video um, where I integrate a split test and then I'll share the results maybe in a few days. 
based on what you know works and what doesn't so that way we get a, a good live example instead of me just rambling on through these different sites. So yeah, uh, hopefully this video is a little bit useful to you uh, in terms of introducing you to split testing and the importance of it. Uh, and, and somebody asked in the forums here on Design Course, uh, you know, they had a question about, you know, how much content is too much and all that. And well, really, you don't know. You shouldn't trust your gut instinct. That's the thing. You, you basically want to split test it. So if you had, uh, there's something called a long page ad copy versus short page ad copy when it comes to landing pages and, and websites in general. And you know every page should have a goal. And so, if say for example you have you're selling an ebook or something, uh, and you want to see how many people join based on the landing page they hit. So. One thing a lot of people will test is doing what's called long page ad copy versus short page ad copy. And so long page ad copy is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a ton of a lot of text uh, or content that will support trying to get people to join or you know you're stating your case as to why they should purchase your product or your ebook or whatever. Uh, and then a short page ad copy would be very simple, direct and straight to the point. And I uh, and so that's one way that you can determine, you know, through results, if I have too much content or if I don't. And so, so the answer to that question in general is, I uh, I don't know. Let's test it. So that's the importance of split testing. Uh, and so hopefully you guys will utilize that information in the future. All right. So I'm Gary Sound DesignCourse.com. Check out the site, of course, and as always, subscribe here on YouTube. All right. Goodbye.